What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can use Olama with not Claude Engineer, but the makers of Claude Engineer, they have a new tool called Olama Engineer. All right, we're going to show you how you can set it up, self-host it, well, it's something that you just, it's a pip Python program, so you just set it up, run it, and then it acts sort of like Claude Engineer. A lot of people on my Claude videos, whether it's Claude Engineer, Claude Developer, whatever the case may be, were saying, hey, how can we do local models or Olama? You know, Claude's a bit pricey. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So if you're not familiar with Claude Engineer, um, check out my other video on that. It's actually right here. So this is by the same creators of Claude Engineer. And um, yeah, so they came, I mentioned in that video, if you want me to do a video on uh, Olama Engineer, let me know. So here it is. And basically, I'm not going to go over all the intricacies of Claude Engineer and the whole repo again, but this is the repo. Link for it will be in the description down below. You can see here it's sort of like if you're familiar with ai pair programmers maybe like Ader or uh claude developer it's kind of like that claude dev um where it's a cli um code companion it's not like github well it's not like um continue dev or github copilot within vs code or a vs code extension it's within the cli so, so similar to Ader or claude dev um there's other ones as well um, okay, so basically, uh, it's actually, I guess it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to get a set up. First things first, you're going to want to get Olama. If you don't have Olama already, go to Olama. Link will be in the description. You can download it. Okay. Now, with Olama Engine or Llama Engine, you can use it with any specific model, open source model you want, whether it's Phi 3, Mistral, Deep Sea Coder, V2 uh gemma or llama 3.1 just because it's the newest one we'll use llama 3.1 so you just go here you select your parameter we're going to use the 8b model which you're probably going to use if you're using llama 3.1 it's the one that's the least labor and uh, resource intensive so you're just going to copy this command olama run llama 3.1 and you're going to run that in your uh in your uh, command line once you actually install Olama, all right? Once you do that, um, you're going to be able to go back to the GitHub repo, and you can either go up here and download the zip and then place it on wherever you want, whether your desktop or whatever, um, or you can just git clone and use git and clone the repo and run that in your command line. You would just copy the link. All right, I already have it uh, cloned, so I won't be doing that. Once you do that, you're going to change directory in your command line to wherever Claude, Claude Engineer is cloned in, okay? And then what you're going to do is you can do pip install dash r requirements. So it's a similar process to how Claude Engineer is basically installed. So it's actually almost, it's basically the exact same process. So you get clone the repo, you cd into Claude Engineer, then you pip install r dash or dash r requirements, txt okay then you're going to set up your environment variables so you could set this up as like um setting these as invariable uh, variables and as if you're on windows or exporting them if you're on linux or mac but you i just set them up within the dot env file so i believe there is a example template right here dot env uh dot example so i just changed this to dot env and then i used um i pasted in my quad API key as well as my Anthropic as well as my Tavily. Okay, because you're gonna use Tavily. It basically is to search the web. So this is Tavily right here. Pretty cool. It's a pretty useful tool, and it's made specifically for uh, AI search engine optimize or searching the with LLMs. So they give you, I believe, a hundred or a thousand free searches, something like this. A decent amount, maybe a thousand and uh, i still haven't went, ran through all my tavily free ones so get that you can just sign up for free put your api key here now i will say this this is something that i mentioned in my claude um engineer video and this is something i'll mention in this llama video as well 
all right you're gonna run into issues if you just try to install the requirements and then put the api keys in and then you try to run um llama engine all right so first off i'll say if you want to run claude engine then you just basically do it like this right here you can uh you could create a virtual environment and then activate it and install the requirements and then run python uh main.py so claude engineer is the main.py file and what you'll see here i have it open in vs code main.py and then olama engineer is the olama engineer.py so depending on what you want to use you could run either one of those but you will encounter issues if you don't do this step i'm going to show you basically as of now with the recent um Tavily update basically as of now i mean at the time of recording this maybe in the future it won't be like this but it basically has a few dependencies and whatnot that require you to put a cohere api key which we don't want to do because why would we want to do that it's just like an extra hassle thing so what you can do is you can simply just go um so let's just see here yeah you'll see uh where is it Basically, you're going to do pip uninstall uh, Tavily. Just search. Um, so pip uninstall Tavily. Yeah, right here. Pip uninstall Tavily.python. So you're going to uninstall this. All right. And then you're just going to say, would you like to remove? You're going to say yes. And then once it's removed, you are going to go. Um, you're basically going to run this command. And I'll leave this command in the, the description. You're gonna run pip install tavily dot dash python and then equals equals 0 0.3.5 all right this is the version um that is the was before they made these recent updates so you're gonna want that version okay so it's not gonna require you to put a cohere api key in okay once you do that um you should just aver just to confirm everything you'll have your envir environment variable set up You'll have your requirements set up. You'll have the proper Tavily set up. And then at that point, you can simply just run Python Olama dash engine dot pi. Now, actually, before you do that, I want to say one more thing. If you open up your Olama engine Python uh, file, or if you just open up the whole Claude Engineer folder in VS Code and you go here, you're going to want to scroll down uh, right about here line 78 and these right here 81 82 you'll see here i have llama 3.1 initially it was i believe um my mistral or something like this you can put whatever um llama model you want here just make sure you obviously have this downloaded and you're referencing the right name okay and then also too if you're going to want to use auto complete mode you can change the max continuous iterations right here by default it's set to 25 and then the max to context tokens is set to by default 200k so you could actually look through um some of these some of these uh this code right here and potentially alter some of it most it's pretty short it's not too okay i guess it's somewhat long but yeah this is some of the tools i believe uh, i haven't read through a lot of it but yeah if there is any other those are the main customizations you're going to want to do changing the model etc and then from that point you can run it there may be a few other things if you want to check in there and customize it a bit to your liking then you can simply just run this command right here python olama dash engine dot pi and it's going to say welcome to olama llama 3.1 engineer chat with multi-agent and image support so that's one cool thing that have image support um so you can exit auto mode reset save and chat so while in auto mode plus control c at any time to exit auto mode this is something like i've had mixed reviews on like mixed success on in the past i mean i haven't like built anything crazy using auto mode in the future yes obviously like i think it's going to be really cool when ai can like very well iterate upon itself with the code i just personally don't think it's like at that um that like that top tier level yet um i mean it really isn't um but it is kind of fun sometimes so let's go auto mode and so let's just say build me a um a pong pong game in python keep track 
of score and have me play a computer i don't know how well it will be able to do this maybe a little bit complex i don't know for it to play the computer but we'll come back when it's done all right guys so i'm back after trying to run some of this now i'll let be completely honest with you guys i was trying to run that first command with the auto uh running uh auto mode and i was having some issues with auto mode maybe it's just me i don't know i put it down to 10 iterations but still was having some issues um with just a few different things not creating the file not creating a proper game maybe it's a little bit too complex a pong game i don't know um or maybe it's something i'm doing wrong me personally just after using it I would probably not use this on a day-to-day -day basis for you know actually developing or coding or building anything i would maybe use it here and there just kind of for small little things maybe um but at the same time it really makes no sense for me to do that just because i have tools like Ader, i have tools like continue dev i have tools even like cursor uh even um quad dev even Qu honestly quite frankly even quad engineer I was getting uh but obviously that's you know you pay for api but you can use olama with things like continue dev with ader etc so um with this i found it just to be frankly fairly slow um i mean it is local models so i guess but uh and i was having issues um actually even creating the game so i actually it did create some code and i it, for me at least it wasn't working properly so I actually use a different AI model to pretty much just like try to fix it. And as you can see now, it's like a working game. It's pretty decent in terms of like, I mean, I'm not playing against a computer, but it's pretty decent here. I mean, it's just going back and forth, but this is not, that is not hundred percent the doing of uh, this tool. So I can't give it credit to it. Um, I simply just was like, Hey, cream in HTML page, just saying subscribe. It managed to do that, which is, I mean, if you want to do something like that or small things here and there, Maybe trying different models out on a llama, you get get it to work better. Maybe I'm missing something here, but other than that, guys, just want to cover this because this is, um, you know, Claude Engineer. A lot of people know about Claude Engineer. This is Llama Engineer. So, will I be continuing using it? No, but uh, if you do want to test it out, you can follow these steps along, see for yourself. Because at the end of the day, this is my opinion. Maybe you'll actually like it. Maybe I'm missing something. So you can give it a try for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. And let me know what your favorite tool is, whether it's Ader, Continue Dev, uh, Cursor, whatever the case may be. If you want me to cover any other ones, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, business growth, marketing, sales, etc. So make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you got some value here. Other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.